life, it's me, Anna Mwarlef. And it's so bad that I'm almost retiring now, but um, I think it will be a horrible retire. I'll go out there knowing that I've done everything for wildlife. I've done everything for the voiceless, for the guys who can't defend themselves. Animals can't fight human beings because we are always the masters. Near the Savo Nature Reserve, tensions flare between man and elephant. So conflict, since the SGR started, it's gone up. Let's talk of 80% higher than normal. Remember, Manyani and uh, Mutituande. That is now where the, the, the two parks really meet. And that's where the, 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 the railway really goes in completely in between the parks. If that is kept the way, the way things are going now, so that park will be divided into two. It's not the first time that relations between them have soured. Mombasa Road is carrying more traffic than ever before. The things for the SGR, the Lake Turkana wind power is up there. I think there are three wind powers now in construction in northern Kenya. All of them, they are heavy things go through Mombasa Road. Every material for these constructions goes through Mombasa Road. Every one minute, there's a track on Mombasa Road. Elephants can't cross Mombasa Road. That's a fact. In January, we had to move 35 elephants across Mombasa Road and we had to call in the police plus the help of a shopper to stop vehicle for half an hour until it was clear for elephants to cross and they crossed. I don't know how often we can get the service of the police to stop the traffic. Problem has two big problems. Number one is they have dug a trench of what two meters deep for what kilometers, hundred, ten kilometers. Any animal that falls into this thing will never come out. We have pictures of animals trying to cross this thing. Even a baby elephant, the mother had to help to cross this thing. And now conservationists are worried about an even more potentially catastrophic threat to the Savo elephant, the standard gauge railway, slicing through the Savo ecosystem on a 132-kilometer stretch. So the engineers want to levelize it as much as possible so then the train can get maximum speed. Yeah, uh, when you do that, what happens is you get some areas quite highly elevated to the level of even seven meters above, etc. So that in itself creates like a barrier. So for the animals to pass. People were paid, a lot of money was paid to the people for, you know, for them to give way to the SGR. These people have eventually bought land and they are buying land next to Mombasa Highway. On between Maungu and Voi, people have never settled, now they're settling. And these are the crossing points between the, you know, the, 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 the elephant routes. Looking at the old railway, it was pretty easy for them to cross, but this is like, there's a barrier. Is that a problem? Sheila, to tell you the truth, when we were introduced to the SGR, we all knew that the railway will always be the railway on the ground. Suddenly, we, we see people asking for borrow pits. We didn't know what they were doing. And then we see the moles coming up. So we argued, what are these for? We had eventually, you know, originally we had said we want in the parks the railway to be Pillars, 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 and the railway to go up. That's how it was supposed to be. But suddenly we're seeing this big thing. No animal will go over this thing. Not the elephant. Elephants are trying. They keep on trying. The males try. The males still go there. But the small animal, like if you go through Manyani now, you'll see zebras on top of this thing. Zebras will just gallop up there. The giraffes can't, can't walk up there. I mean, and the, the giraffes, apart from the six wildlife crossings that uh, we've um, you set aside for crossings, giraffes will not cross um, the, the, the Standard Gauge Railway. They will not go through the culverts. 
The deal between Kenya and China, signed in 2013, would spell the end of the line for the 19th century railway and lay the trucks for a new rail that would propel the country into the 21st century. The agreement includes a line from Mombasa to Malaba on the country's border with Uganda. So basically it's cutting this ecosystem into two. Well, we used to have Savo East and Savo West, more or less one. Now it's like Savo West alone, Savo East alone. How badly will it affect the migration of elephants? Because they're known to travel long distances. And now if you have two different ecosystems uh, cut off by a physical barrier, so to speak, how badly does that affect the movement? It might have significant effect on elephant movement and other wildlife movement. And some might be cut off you know, forever, for the rest of their lives and not pass through some other wildlife species that might be shy using some of these underpasses. But the ones which are brave enough and uh, courageous enough, elephants for instance, some of them will continue using uh, those underpasses. And um, uh, these ecosystems, they provide different services for these animals. Improving infrastructure such as rail is seen as key to improving Africa's disparate economies. The rail would also help slash the time and cost of transportation of people and goods. And with all aboard the development train, the elephants are constantly coming into contact with the modern age. We've had some nasty experiences, so to speak, yeah, during this ongoing construction of the SGR, especially with the elephants. And uh, last, last year, we lost about eight elephants, at least elephant, eight elephants were hit by train uh, on the old railway line. And the reason why that happened is elephants are used to the traditional movement you know, corridors. So they come and they, they find this barrier under construction. And then what happens is they don't know now where is the next exit. Elephant crossings are built on designated areas below the line, allowing the animals to move beneath. This line replaces the Lunatic Express built under the British rule and whose construction was marred by logistical challenges, including at the Savo Bridge, where two local lions, the Ghost and the Darkness, stalked and killed construction workers. But against the torrent of development projects, the animals at this time finding it hard to fight back. There are also concerns about a planned dual carriageway along the same stretch. The through this is a disaster and uh, I hope every conservationist in this country or outside will talk about this. I remember very well about Serengeti. Somebody wanted to build a road in Serengeti. We Kenyans did every, we brought them a fuse, we jumped, you know, we actually shouted. And this thing was stopped. A door a carriageway in Mombasa. You know, people don't still believe that this thing is not going through the parks. It does go through the park between Manyani and Mutito. It goes through the park there. But between Voi and Bachuma, the movement of elephants from the Taita Ranges to the park will be stopped. Do a carriageway? Not for me. And I hope it's not for conservation. If there's anything they want to do, then we must go for the overpasses. For traders such as this, who are only too happy to see the end of a bygone era, it's practical improvements such as these that matter the most to them. But at a steep price for the Savo wildlife. Wildlife appreciates when you do something good for them. Like an elephant, if it gets stuck in mud, and then you go pulling it out. 
Once it notices that you're not there to, to kill it, that you're trying to help it, it will actually cool down. You will pull it out. Once you release it, it runs because it's afraid of you. But then it will always stop and it turns and looks back at you. Most of them just brrr, trumpet and then they turn and go. As a manager now, I no longer carry a gun for, for the protection. But I, I, as a manager, I think um, it's one of the few things that um, you can protect with your heart. Eight of the collared elephants crossed the railway, though with some problems at first. One of them ventured into the villages. It's clear that brushes between man and elephant may not stop, but scientists now have eyes on how exactly they will fit into the new world. What we are aiming for here is we want a Kenya that as much as it's developed and it's got its proper infrastructure, it's got its skyscrapers, we still also have our wildlife. And that is a treasure that we're very proud of as, as Kenyans. Sheila Sindeo, NTV.